Hi, my name is Sonia from Cosmic Harmony. This is a free tarot reading. Our external world and experiences are a reflection of our internal world. With tarot, we can look at our external and internal experiences and gain a better understanding of our subconscious patterns and beliefs, which are primarily responsible for creating our reality at every moment. By becoming more aware of these patterns, we can be more apt to break through the illusions we have created and discover who we really are and what we really want to experience, making creation a more conscious experience. If you would like a personal reading, email me at the email address down below and I will email you back. There is also information about my writings, stories, and world meditations down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, there's a link for that. And lastly, I welcome and appreciate any likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And let's get to the reading. Hi, this message is for Virgo. Um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or if you felt drawn to this message, it could be a message for you. You could be a cross watcher, um, and the message could be for you. Um, so I pulled a lot of cards because there was so many different things I was seeing in this reading, actually. I'm using the archetype cards, and they go a lot deeper into you and what's going on. So, um... The overall energy you have is the ring, okay? The ring is about, like, connection to all things, like beginning and ending, seeing things are in cycles, right? But the cards that I got to clarify it with was first I got the Five of Wands, which is about, like, disconnection. So, um, it's like... You feeling disconnected from the source of everything, but you're probably looking for connection in other people. Um, the Three of Pentacles is about building, um, collaborating with others, building with others. So that's the overall energy of the reading. And the card I got for you um, from the Oracle, the Ganesha, Whispers of War Ganesha, is openness. Um, I'm actually going to start by reading that and then get into the reading just because, like I said, there's so much going on in the reading that it might be hard. And it's freaking hotter than hell in here. And I can't turn on my AC when I'm doing the video, so I'm like trying to not die. But anyway... Um, cause then you can't hear me. So, <laughs> okay. So we got observe, evaluate and make inquiries before forming a conclusion. When the moon is waning in the crescent phase, it is good time to begin to review endeavors and correct mistakes. It is time to throw out what you no longer need and clear away excess and old energy, including any clutter you may have accumulated. In addition to discarding excessive material things in your life, eliminate the unhealthy behaviors and relationships. You may find that you are trying to decide between two options. This card is not about making a decision, but more about taking time to really listen to your heart and your inner voice. Ganesha advises you to gain more information before you act. The knowledge can be in many forms, including your innate knowledge, self-knowledge, secret knowledge, or even more esoteric wisdom. You may find that what you are attaining might be both mysterious and magical. You are in a conscious process of creative release. Give thanks and gratitude for the things you have accomplished. Don't feel rushed or pressured to begin a new undertaking. Review your goals and regroup accordingly. Once you have all the necessary information, you will begin to feel motivated to set some new goals and start new projects. Okay. So, like I said, it's like um, this reading is about you feel it, being disconnected and needing to be connected. Um or like feel connected, right? So, um, the first card, sorry, hold on a second. 
kind of see something. Okay. So the first card we got is the underworld. Okay. And this is the first card of self. And this card represents like your biggest, deepest fears. Okay. And what I'm showing, <laughs> it's funny because these are the three cards that came out to, um, to uh, clarify it. We've got the emperor. We've got the six of pentacles reversed and the empress reversed. So the emperor and the empress, they're the, um, like the head of all of the kings and queens in the tarot. And, um, they also represent in like the, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. The emperor with, um, talks about stability, protection, and it's upright, right? But the empress is like create creativity, um, abundance, like it's a fertile card and it's reversed. And with the six of pentacles reversed, like what the way I'm seeing it is there's your deepest fears may be something that you're seeing right now, but it's like an unequal give and take in a relationship or not a relationship. Okay. <laughs> but it's about, it, but it's, there's someone in mind or something in mind, or it just could be about the disconnection between, um, the divine masculine, divine feminine story where, um, the emperor actually has like his worldly, the worldly shit together and the empress doesn't. It's like whoever that empress is has got everything turned upside down. Um, it could have to do with like family life, stability, not not creation isn't coming out of her. Um, and so you could be on either side of this. You could be the Empress looking at the Emperor, or you could be the Emperor looking at the Empress, okay? Now, the other card that you got in your current is the Ocean. And the Ocean talks about, it's like the deep, deepest, it's deeper than deep, okay? And it is um, like the incomprehensible, like, so it's like your fears, and then you're like, oh my God, like... Okay, um, and there's a few different things going on here. So, okay, so the first card that came out was the Two of Cups reversed. So again, it's like um, two people uh, that are like soulmate energy, but not together or not coming together. They, they, you may have been with them in the past, in this life or not, um, but not coming together. Okay, and then we've got... Um, the Eight of Wands and the Tower, the Tower is reversed, which can indicate that it's not as harsh as, uh, some things can be, but either way, it's like communication movement, right? So I was like, well, in what, what, what kind of communication about what or what movement? And I got... The chariot, which is more movement, also represents the sign of cancer. Oh, by the way, the emperor is Aries, the empress is Taurus, in case you're dealing with any of those signs. Um, the sign of cancer. And then we've got the nine of swords, but it's reversed. Um, the son of cups, which is like... And the nine of swords, when it's reversed, it's like releasing anxiety so it's almost like um there's some kind of transformation or death but it it, it could be good or bad but it's really deep um because when i say death i don't mean literal death i mean like death is like the old self dies the new self renewed right so but it's like a release of this anxiety. 
finding what you love, but then death, okay? <laughs> so it's like um, something is transforming. So what I'm seeing is like, it can be like a coming together and then and ends right away. And that's like your deepest fear, okay? It could be that. It could be it trans into, transforms into something good. But what I'm seeing is that it's almost like you're apart, you come together, and then you're apart. Okay? But this is in your, like, current energy. So this might have already happened or um, it will. But it gets even a little even crazier down here. So, um... Okay, so in your subconscious, I got the mountain. Okay, so the mountain represents this is at the top that you want to achieve and like, or have, achieve or have. There's something up there. And this can do different things to different people because some people see something they want or want to achieve and they get excited and they just, it's like it really puts them in the moment on focusing on what they're doing right now because I don't, even know it's like the it's like the energy is like flowing through them whereas other people look at something they want and want to achieve and they immediately talk themselves out of thinking they can ever have it okay and we've got the um, son of Pentacles that is next to it okay and the son of Pentacles represents Virgo you're Virgo okay um, but you could also be dealing with another Virgo. But this card is like super slow, like twiddling your thumbs type movement, like kick in the dirt movement, like really slow. And the other cards I got to clarify it was feeling like you missed an, an opportunity in love. Um miss an opportunity that was like stable for money commitment okay like really stable opportunity and now you're sad now the king of pentacles or the father of pentacles same as the king of pentacles is reversed here so that can mean that either that's you and you are okay so with the king of or the king of pentacles reversed that can mean that like because you miss this opportunity, it can be another earth sign too, like Taurus or Capricorn, specifically Taurus. But um, it's like you missed an opportunity, um, you are, w or you're like way focused on your money, and that's why you miss the opportunity because you're only thinking about working, or you are um, not doing good monetarily, like you might be broke or something. Um, but you're like looking at this with like your head down. See, both of these are like, see the heads down? Like, oh, I can't get that. I can't have that. This is what I'm seeing in like the subconscious. Okay. So. In the past, this one's really easy. Okay, prayer. So, like, prayer, hoping, it. whether you believe in, like, God or whatever it is that you believe, if you believe in anything or not. But it's like you are trying to heal this broken heart. You have a broken heart. Um, this is pain, suffering from something. I didn't clarify what the broken heart was about. Okay. But also, you had another card in your past. And this one was really interesting because there's two different ways to look at this. So, um, depending on which side of the story you're on. So this is like a knowing, okay? Um, this is an inner knowing. I'm, I'm was just deciding which way I'm going to read the rest of this. Cause like I said, there's two different ways, but just whichever way resonates with you, you know, take the way that resonates with you. You can be on either side of this, okay? But this is a knowing. 
this is the daughter of swords is a card of insight okay and okay so the first three cards i got i was like knowing what insight on what right <laughs> and i got um the will of fortune the Mother of Wands, and the Hierophant. Okay, so first I'll read it like, um, this isn't you, because this is someone. Um, this can be a Leo Sagitt Sagittarius or Aries. It could also be a Taurus, okay? But this is like, Okay, the other th I'm going to show you the other three cards I got to clarify. Okay, so this is like someone who is like uh, just had lucky, like had all of this luck um, or like a dream come true. This is a fortune. This person is like um, the wheel of fortune, like you just won the jackpot type thing. This is what this is showing me, okay? And it's like, um, with the Hierophant there, this is like a sensing, a knowing, this is, um, spiritual, this is commitment, marriage. So I almost think like, it's like you got this knowing that this person was like, uh, Wheel of Fortune or Jackpot, okay? So this is one way to see that. And then, okay, but then I'm like, so, uh... Well, then what's all this sad, sad shit about and missing opportunities and stuff, right? So, um, to clarify it, I got the moon, the nine of pentacles, and the world reversed, which if that is the case, then that would indicate that, like, you were afraid to let go of being single. Like, you were afraid that your time, your money, your resources... Your freedom would all be taken away if there was any type of like commitment with this person that you, you, I mean, I'm that you knew saw as like the will of fortune or jackpot, basically. That's what I'm seeing here. Also, the moon can represent Pisces, so it could have something to do with Pisces. Okay, so that's one way of seeing that. Um, the other way is that you are this person, okay? And that though your heart was broken and you were wanting to heal, you knew that this pain had a purpose and that this is what you imagined you yourself to be, basically, is this, um, this mother of wands, the jackpot you like saw all these good things coming in for you it's like seeing basically knowing that in your future you are going to be successful um this could be like a spiritual leader um the mother of wands is like super attractive in the way she looks but also like attracts good things to her and it, when I say her, by the way, if it's a male or female, like all, they're just energy. So it can be a, a male or a female, okay? Um, any of these cards with the different sexes on them, okay? Um, but and in that case, what I'm showing is that there's basically... Something that needs to be healed for that person to have that. But I'm going to read it like it's like you were afraid. Okay. But either way, like there's two different ways to see that. Okay. Um, actually, no. So, okay. In the, your crowning energy, we got the poet. The poet is like, 
the poet is someone who feels intensely. So they like, whether it's good emotion or bad emotion, they like go into it, feel it, like grab a hold of it and make something of it. Okay. They express it into the world. Um, and it's like something beautiful, even if it's from shit, if that makes sense. Like, like the crap that happens to you, it's like they turn it into something, like turn it into gold. Or like the coal, it makes the diamond, right? You know, whatever. But um, that's what I'm seeing with the poet. It's like they take the pain and they make it beautiful. They take the the good and make it even brighter. Like it's like, that's what the poet does, right? And the poet... It's funny, though, because the poet came out with the Mother of Cups and the Mother of Pentacles, okay? So I'm thinking that the pain has to do, this pain that the poet is making into something great, it could have something to do with it could have something to do with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or another uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But what I'm seeing is like the... It has something to do with like mothers. Like... Give me just a second. Okay, so I'm going to look at this um, Mother of Cups first, because this can be, because what the cards that I got to clarify it was uh, beginning in truth, like there's some truth that come out about, about um, some kind of loving character or one of those, someone who carries that. that you look at that this is symbolic for you so it could be like I said it could be one of those signs but there's a truth that like you're realizing that has to do with this this figure and you're moving away from it and you feel could be a Leo too because and it's it's like the strength is reversed and so it's it's making you feel weak and that could be where this pain is coming from of the poet but then the queen of pentacles or the mother of pentacles this could be you because um, it also represents an earth sign right and it was clarified by the six of wands and the six of wands is like victory there's a victory that you end up having but also with it being upright instead of like that that king of pentacles reversed she's got all of her stuff together like the money the family everything and you can see the butterfly is a symbol of like transformation and she's right and the butterfly is rising up out of the like the sticks and stuff. And so it's like, I feel like there's <clears throat> something that you're like moving away from, someone you're moving away from that's causing a lot of pain. But if you use the pain to like create something out of the pain, it's like it's going to help you become this Queen of Pentacles and rise up like the butterfly. Okay, so in the future, sent readings on now being pretty long. Sorry about that. Um, future, um, you have the starborn. This is like the star child. Um, this is the star. Yeah, this is the star child, and. You could actually, because I've got a couple star cards here, you could actually be being recognized for something, especially with the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is also another star card, like like famous, what I mean by that. 
recognized for something. So, and it could have something to do with what you're creating out of your pain. Because um, to clarify, I got the Ace of Wands, which is like a new passionate beginning. It can be something in a career or a creative project, right? And it's, um, you got the hangman with it, which is like you see something from a different perspective. See how he's upside down? It's like you took something and you're like, I see it this way. Like, and I think it has to do with that pain because this is getting you out of your head unstuck. Okay. When this is upright like this, this is like the butterfly can't escape. Okay. But reverse, it's like, oh, I don't have to be in this, this lack, lack, feeling bad any, anymore. And you got the nine of cups, which is like the wish card like you're fulfilled emotional fulfillment right and hold on i gotta tell my kids not to come in okay and then the last card is the threshold and this is like this the star it's like you walked through a door you were like in one way of living like you had this pain this unresolved pain and like you had one way of living and you stepped through that door because this is healing. Like you're healed, you're healed from the pain. This comes after the three of swords, right? And the queen of swords, the queen of swords is um, very discerning. Like she's been through the ringer, like been through some crap. And she, so she understands, like she understands pain. And when she's upright, she's like really wise. Um, and again, you got the star, which is healed, healed. But again, like I said, there's so many star cards. I'm seeing this as like you becoming well known, looked up to by other people. And you're getting your justice, like for whatever pain you experienced. But yeah, there is some kind of Sorry, I'm just um contemplating. But you do it's like you need to remain open. There's something about remaining open. For what's like coming in and like focus on what I'm really getting is like focus on seeing like really feeling your pain and like seeing it differently from the hangman's perspective not that you're denying what you're feeling it's actually going deeper into what you're feeling to be able to see it different. But anyway, so that's your reading, Virgo. Um, if you like this reading, a like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate that. That helps out. And also, if you want a personal reading, you can email me. But until I do another one, I will see you next time. Thanks.